Greetings. What we've got here today are a pair of APC Smart Slot Triple Chassis. One is an AP9604 and the other is an AP9604S. And they look virtually identical, apart from the writing of course. And they take these Smart Slot modules and these are, in the case of the Smart Slot ones, in the case of the smart UPS ones uh, for the AP9604, it's if you need to put multiple cards in and your UPS doesn't actually have more than one slot. It's only got a single slot, so you can fit these multiple ones in. In the case of a Silicon, these are required because the Silicon doesn't have a slot at all. It needs to connect through a cable. So, are they identical? Is it just the letter? Well, as you can see, if I plug in to the AP9604, the status light goes constant, indicating that it's connecting properly, and I can hook up the card and recognize the UPS. If I plug in with the same cable to the AP9604S, it starts flashing, indicating it's got no communication with the UPS. And if you web browse into it, it says it, it'll start up the card, but the card can't see a UPS attached. So, there's obviously something different between the two. Let's look inside and find out. I've already taken the lid off the bottom of these. And as you can see, there's something quite different about the two cards. Sorry, the two circuit boards. Just unplug these. The AP9604S here has an extra chip on it, which the 9604 doesn't have. As you can see from the boards taken out, it's not just the extra chip, there are quite a few components missing as well. But these components, certainly at least these ones, do match up with these. So can we make one of these for an obsolete, scrapped UPS behave like one of these. Well, if we trace out the schematic for the, the standard SmartUps one to start with, which is a revision 6 of the board, we can work out what the components do and where they all connect and how the slots communicate with each other. For example, you can see how pin 7 of the IC control in the end slot goes into pin 6 of the next one along, and pin 10 goes to pin 9 of the next one along and so on and so forth. We can also see that there are connections coming out from that end chip and the connections going into the first chip and they all come back to this MAX231 and then up ultimately to the two monitoring ports. One for the UPS and one for a PC to connect to or can go on and daisy chain to another management card. And the transistors which are deleted appear to take two of those signals which go to pins 13 and 14 of all of the slots, and from there they drive pin 7 on both ports. On the Silicon version, on the other hand, they've been deleted, and some of these connections instead are redirected through this chip, which is a PXAG 49KBA microcontroller, and that appears to be acting as a protocol converter. It's in to, it's, it sits in between the smart slots and the connection to the UPS. But when you trace through this schematic, you also find there are components which aren't fitted. The diodes which were originally on the other board have been deleted, and these deleted resistors, it would appear that if you connected those up, it would reconnect the original links from the smart slots up to the MAX231 and out on pin 7. And also we find that a lot of the components over here in the vicinity of the microcontroller are the same as what you'd find on the other board. So, can we steal those components, fit them onto the old locations on the board, and turn this Revision 7 Silicon AP9604S into an AP9604? Well, there's only one way to find out, and in Blue Peter style, here's one I prepared earlier. These are most of the components which I took out from here. The rest all got reused over on this, which meant the only things I needed to find with four 1N4148 diodes, two 3K3 resistors, one in this board and one on this board, one 
10 nanofarad capacitor and a 2N2907, which I couldn't find, so instead I've used a BC327, which is pretty much the same, but the pins are the other way around, so I had to mount it backwards in the board. But does it work? Let's go find out. You can see this is the board which has been modified. It's missing this chip and a whole lot of components here, and the extra stuff is fitted there. So let's plug in. We get a green light, and the management card is booting up. So let's start pinging. And we can see the card is up and running. Let's try accessing it. And we're in. UPS is on. Threshold's okay. It's got access to the environment monitor as well. I've got access and I could if I wanted to turn the UPS off from here, but I'm not going to because as you can see I'm still rendering in the background. So, can you convert it? Yes, you can. How much? Well, for £3.87 from Maplin, you can buy all the components to convert one of these from a silicon to a standard unit. If you shop at RS, you can spend £3.53, including that, and you can buy enough components to do five of these, and you'll have five transistors left over. The choice is yours. Hope someone finds this useful or interesting or whatever. Uh, there will be some links in the video description for the uh, the part numbers which are required. Uh, I may I'll try and get the schematics up on Google Plus, and also I'll put some uh, some links in some useful uh, bits and pieces I found on the net. And while I'm here, I will uh, brief mention. Take a look at FF Cossag's channel. He does a lot of stuff with these. Uh, APC UPS systems and so there's some very interesting little bits and pieces over on his channel. So uh, I, if you're interested in this or my other uh, UPS videos where I've done the uh, SmartUps VT and the APC Silicon that this used to be connected to, if you're interested in those then go check his channel out as well. Thank you for watching.